What's up, guys? Dago Seda, pretty snazzy walkthroughs. Majora's Mask, three hearts. All right, so after beating the Snowhead Temple, or I'll, actually, you can go back and refight the boss after saving, and you can save the hassle of doing the entire temple and just make it spring here again. Make it spring, and then after refighting, got. And then go to Goron Village, and there's this area right here you have to go into where there's pretty large Goron, and he won't he won't help you at all unless you're in Goron form. Now, what he's gonna do is we need this powder keg so we can get to somewhere later. Okay, and he's basically saying be fast. <laughs> I don't know why this game makes you do this, but I guess it's a free powder keg to do what you have to do with it. The game gives every powder keg you need to you for free, so I guess you can enjoy that. Alright, so we have to take it to a big rock near the, I guess you can say it's a lake now. And you'll see uh, that little crying Goron from earlier next to it. But we have to get there quickly enough so before this thing blows up. And it makes a pretty large explosion when it does so, too. Which I've never actually stood in its path of the explosion before, but I can assure you it'll at least do half a heart to you. <laughs> and also I'd like to point out that you can, if you shoot this thing with an arrow, it'll blow up. So until you get it to where you want to go, don't shoot it with an arrow. <laughs> Obviously enough. And it seems like these enemies, they match your speed. Like, they try to, they go slower when you're carrying some big thing. I was really, I was really getting nervous there that I might push it down and have to redo something. Not much, actually. And I'm assuming it's probably a bad thing if you throw it in the water, so I'd recommend against that. And see, it's a little crying Goron. Seems like he's not crying. If you talk to him, he'll start crying, unless you blow this thing up first. And then, you can either stand back and say, fire in the hole, or just wait for it. Or to shoot it like that. <laughs> Which is what I did. And I got really lucky here. This this next part, while it's not required to beat the game, I recommend doing it because you get an empty bottle out of it. And something else important. Because by the end of the, this next couple of videos, we're going to have the upgraded sword. Which is what we want. And we need what we get from this to do it. The thing that's in the bottle. Yep, I'm going to enter. Alright. And also, this kid's nice enough to refill your magic for you. You really don't need to, because there's enough pots around the whole thing. Alright. First thing I'm going to point out is that this race is hard as hell, okay? it. I got really lucky to do this on my first try here, but this every other time I did this, it took me at least 10 tries to do it. It's that hard. Because these other Gorons, they they ran, they'll randomly get faster than you. They can ram you and put and cause and damage you or hurt your momentum. Despite the fact that you're the one who has spikes and they're just kind of rolling there. And I got really lucky this time. All right, I'm like, well, yeah. I guess I after doing this enough, I do kind of I know the course really well. I know what to expect. But seriously, this race is like 80% luck. You have to hope that the other Gorons are just stupid. And you, if they are, then you'll beat it. If not, then you're screwed. This just is so... I don't know. Uh, see, I'm complaining about it being hard while at the same time making it look easy. And see, I, I probably would have lost there if he wasn't stupid and hit that thing. Oh well. You just have to kind of hold them off. I don't. I don't even know what the mechanic is to make them like they. If you ram them, you're always the one who seems to take the negative effect of it, and they always gain your momentum or something stupid like that. But I'm gonna stop complaining now because I won. I won, and that was a huge relief to me. And see, they weren't. Usually, you don't win by that much. Alright, that was great, and I got the gold dust. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.